Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. Are you still outside, babe? How do I say my openings? Today I am going to be tinkering on this car with my son. Today we're going to put more oil in it because we lost oil last time we were playing on it because we did not know that the oil filter was out. Look how dirty this motor is. I have to uh, pull this engine out and really clean it really, really good. But today we're going to, after we add the oil, right son? Yeah. We're going to... Uh, Teach him how to take off these wheels, how to change a tire in case he ever gets a flat, because uh, they're dirty. They need to be clean, so we're going to let him use my jack and my tire iron. But first, uh, before we do any of that, you're going to need gloves, son, to take off the tires. I definitely know there's no oil in this. Well, it's not showing on the uh, dipstick. So I went, we went to the Dollar General. We got the cheapest freaking oil. So I'm not going to spend a lot of money on oil in case we lose it again. So this is just all training, learning process. We're going we're to put two quarts in it right now because I know it's not showing on the dipstick at all. Just pour it all in, son. And hmm? yeah, we're going to put two quarts in. Okay, you got two quarts of oil in. Go ahead, wipe it off and then dip it in and then we'll check it again. What's it look like? So clean. It's like barely showing on the dipstick. Alright, let's put the other third quart in. And then we'll know for sure and then we'll work on the tires. Got all three quarts in. We're going to check it. How's it look now? The same. Huh? Let's see. Yep, it's so clean. Wipe it again. I know it's got three quarts in it for sure. Let's dip it back in. Oil is so clean, but I can see it right there on the F. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. You can see it. Can you see it, son? Yeah. You see the glistening? Hold that side. Right by the F. Right, right there. There's. You can see there's oil in it. So it's full now. All right. So now next step. We know it's got oil in it. Next up, we are going to teach him how to take off the tire. All right, so the jack my son has in this car, which I don't really care for these type of jacks. These are adjustable scissor jacks. This is what they call a scissor jack, right? You put the tool in here, and you hook, and you turn it. He already knows how to operate this, so we're not going to use that. These are the engine parts that weren't bolted on. All right, we're going to use my floor jack right here. And it comes with this. This is how you loosen it, son. You turn this. And you make sure this is all the way down. Go ahead, tighten that up. This. Yeah. Now, before you ever jack your car up, no matter... Right now, we're on a flat level carport. Before you ever jack your car up, you want to make sure that you have a, a flat level ground... To put your jack and then underneath here son you want to put your jack on this little lip right here this ledge specifically right here there's a little notch but because this car is so low we're going to have to pick it up a little bit and then uh, set it on the jack so I'm going to lift it for you and then you slide it under son and you put it right on that edge okay all right all right all right so this right here has an adjustable uh, I don't know what notch thing here. And what you want is you want the frame to line in between these here. So you can, if you go like that and it sits down, it's not going to sit flush. You have to turn it like that so it sits in like that. All right? Okay. Let me pick it up. All right. Like a glove. All right. The next thing you want to do, son, is you want to break free these lug nuts. So get the lug wrench right here. This is a, what they call a star lug wrench. And it has different sizes on each size here. This one, hold on. This is a metric one because this is a Japanese car. So go on there and put it on. Move it like back and forth like that to find the right size. That's too big. Too big. Too 
big. Too small. Hmm. Try that one. Hmm. I don't think I have the size for this. We just learned that this star wrench will not work on these lug wrenches. So you know what that means? What? You gotta get the breaker bar and the sockets. I'll be right back. All right. One thing about working on cars son, that you have to understand is never freak out. Okay? That star wrench will not work because these are smaller lugs. So the next best thing to do is I have a half inch breaker bar right here. And there was a reason why I had to buy all these. I, I only needed one, but what we're going to do, we're going to take these uh, deep well sockets and we're going to find out what size lug your thing is. And we're going to get these wheels off with this lug wrench. Alright, so let's go over there and try different sizes. So your first guess is what? 13. 13, let's try that. Which, which way does it go? This no, way? no, that's the part for the socket. There's, okay, it's too small. We're going to go up and try 15. There's a reason why I ended up buying this whole thing. <laughs> 15? Yeah. Oh, shoot. No? Still too small? Uh, huh. Go up. Let's try 17. That's 16. Alright. Look on the side. It tells you the number here. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, man, the sun is blinding me. I think 16 is too small. Try 17. I know it's not 19 because that lug wrench is a 19, so it's going to either be 17 or 18. The other way. This way? Yeah. Let me see. Does it fit? Let's check them all. And one thing we haven't checked is if this has a key lock on it. Alright, so now we're going to get the, uh, put that to the side, son, and we're going to get the uh, breaker bar and break these locks loose. I'm using the half inch breaker bar some because it's stronger you always want to get yourself level with the uh, this that's down too steep so you want to get like as level as possible right here bend at the knees never use your knees I'm gonna do the first one you watch me okay All right. and then you you'll see how to do it we just learned that the, those things are on very easily right son yeah Wiggle it on. Make sure it's on there good. You don't round it off. There you go. Bend your knees. Because sometimes you're going to have some that are so hard you won't be able to get off. You don't want to hurt yourself. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Alright, now that we got this broke free, now we can go up and jack. Make sure you tighten this with the tool. It's right here. It's got a little notch thing in it. Turn it to the right. And then this has a little thing here. That's to keep this from sliding out, so you want to turn it like that, and now you can just pump it up. Pump it, pump it, pump it up. And then jack it all the way up to the tire gets off the ground. Alright? Now this is a testing facility, so we have level, but Murphy's Law is you're never going to get a flat tire where there's level ground. It's always going to be uneven or hard space. That's as high as you have to go. You don't have to go any higher than that, son. All right, now make sure the emergency brake is on. Go check your emergency brake, make sure it's on. Yeah. It's pulled up. Mm -hmm. All right, now we can take this off and uh, let me go get the power tool, make it easier. All right, All right. All right so I got this cobalt, uh, kind of like an impact wrench. All right, it's going to make it a little bit easier. And then I picked these tools up at Harbor Freight, they're like $4.99. This is an adapter that goes in the drill, and then this is for the half-inch socket. So we'll be using that one. That's three-eighths, and that's a quarter. But, uh, you know, it's cool. If you have this in your car, it makes it so much easier. So pull that socket off of that breaker bar. And once, since we've already gotten it broke free, we should be able to get that with that uh, drill. Make it easier. All right? All right. All set. Let's put it on the lug and then take it off. Put, make it sure it's on straight and level with this level. There you go. So that way you don't round off the lug nut. Good. Try it. See how much easier it is? It's like an impact wrench, right? All right. Always oh, set these somewhere to the side so you don't lose them. Good. Take the other three off. 
That's cool, right? Yeah. I haven't used that thing in two years. <laughs> it's still charged. Alright, we'll get that off and then we'll get the wheel off. That to the side. Now, bend, hold on, bend at the knees. And then one hand on each side and pull it off. Just pull off towards you. There you go. Okay. It's a nice looking tire. Alright. Okay, you can go ahead and roll this over to the water hose area and we'll get the cleaning stuff. Hold on, pull that out right there. You don't, yeah, pull it out, set it next to it so you don't trip on it, you don't step on it, and you don't fall. That's your first time taking off a wheel, son. This gives me an opportunity to look at the, this is the Coney shocks here. Look at the suspension and underneath the car. Because this girl said she used this for drifting. That thing is filthy dirty. And these rotors are definitely shot. So now, son, if you want to be able to take off two wheels at one time, we have to get the jack stands. Jack stands? Yeah, in the shed. And we'll put a jack stand under this one, and then we'll go and we'll take off that wheel back there, and we'll have two off at one time. All right. Okay, go again. Shot. Those brake pads are toast. That's another day, teaching them how to do brakes and how to change the rotor. Uh, I've never done it on a Mazda, but I've changed many brakes in my time, many rotors, so it's pretty, pretty much basically the same stuff. You know, the same tools. Alright, I'm going to show them how to use the jack stand next. This is what you call an adjustable jack stand. So this is the adjustment. When you pull this up, this locks. You see how this locks? How different gears? This allows you to have different heights on the car and the way you release it is but you never do you never release it while the car is sitting on it. So just like the uh, jack it has this groove right here. Yeah. You want we're gonna jack this car up a little bit higher and then we're gonna slide it to where that groove will fit in here. But before we do that, we wanna break free the lug nuts over there because All we're right. gonna jack that up and put that on jack stands too. Okay. And one thing you have to learn is you never crawl under a car unless you have it on jack stands. Alright, so get the lug wrench and let's go break free those over there. Alright, he's going to try a different style with his foot. Alright, pull it off. You see how it's kind of going crooked? You pull that off and then reset it again. There you go. And put a little bit higher. Because we're gonna, you broke it with your, your foot. Hold on. Set it up a little bit higher like that. Now do it with your hands. Remember, bend it to the knees. There you go. You got it broke free? Hmm? Did it break free? Okay, now do the other one. And then we'll get the impact wrench. Alright, you got that all set. Before we loosen those up, let's jack this up and uh, let's slide this underneath. We're gonna we're only gonna need it this height, alright? So go ahead and jack it up until you see it's high enough for this to slide under. Here's what you do. You get this underneath here. You want to make sure this is lined up. Now slowly, put it here, slowly turn it to the left, slowly. And watch it slowly go down. You don't want it to go down fast, slowly. A little bit slower. All right, hold on. Keep going. We got it in the groove, go ahead and let it all the way down, then move it over there, and we'll jack the back up and get the jack stand underneath the other one back there. So we're in a situation where the handle don't fit because this thing hits, but these jacks are adjustable. You can spin it like that. All right, go ahead, put it in and jack it up. And then we'll get this other jack stand and this other wheel off. Car safely up on two jack stands. Let's get the impact and get this wheel off. Got the comfort of the shade. It's uh, 75 degrees, it's just warmer out here. All right, don't worry about that. Just use your foot and push that back down like that with your foot. There you go. Got to improvise. Now, pull it off with both hands. There you go. This one's kind of worn out on the inside a little bit. Look at that. Uh. All right. We'll take that over to the wash area. Let's look at this suspension here. What is this set up here? This looks strange. I've never seen anything. Oh, that's an emergency brake. That's what that is right there. Huh. I've seen them before, but not, not like that. What is this big long thing here? 
I've never seen that like that before. So I'm just looking at the brake calipers and stuff, like what this is. Because I've changed a lot of brakes in my lifetime on the calipers, but I've never seen a setup like this before. See the push. This is your this is your shock right here, son. This strut strut type shock here, Zaconi suspension. I don't know how old it is, but bushings look okay down there. This rotor is bad, but it's not as bad as the one in the front. You see that? Feel that? Can you feel the the grooves in with the gloves you got on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To take this rotor off, we have to take this nut off here. Take off this caliper, and then that rotor will come off and we'll put new rotors on but not right now right now let's go clean the wheels I got this car washed up here that we're gonna use after we use this degreaser never tried this degreaser before we got this at Home Depot I think and then I got these at Harbor Freight this is for like to scrub the side of the tires and this one is for scrubbing inside the here and stuff like that. I got him going to get some gloves like this so he doesn't ruin my other gloves. So look at the difference in the tire wear. Completely different tire. These ones look taller than those ones. Alright, these are 205-45ZR16s-87W. Let's see what the other one is. This is 185-55-16s. Huh. Yeah, that's 205-45s. Yeah, this is this is a different size tire. You can see this is much taller back here than this one. This is like a high profile speed rated tire. And this is a this is a H rating 83H. It's the same size here, 60, 16. It's just this is 55 and this is 45 and this is 205. The 55 I think is this measurement and the 185 is the with measurement, is if I'm right, if I can remember this, how it is. But you can definitely see. Uh, this tire is wider. Really, we're gonna degrease all this stuff inside here with a degreaser spray. And, and degrease all this also. Mazda rims. I'm going to see if the other tires are this, like that. Two different sized tires. It sits pretty low though. This front one has a 205 45 16. And let me see this back one if this is the same. Uh, no, this one has the same sizes. I just got one weird sized tire. That's strange. Why they do something like that? I don't know. Uh, three tires are this size and one tire is this size. I don't know if this was a spare. And they just left it on because the spare in the trunk is a donut size spare. Hold on, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. You see that wind spraying? You don't ever want to spray that high up. You want to get as close as you can. Get that on a wide spray mist. You adjust it with here. Just, squirt it one time. You just turn it around. Squirt it one time. Okay, that's locked. Squirt that. All right, let's go to the other one. See, if that's a yeah. Try that one. All right, no, we want the other one, the mist. I'm finding out, <coughs> and that still makes me cough. I'm finding out new stuff about this car every day. Who would put three one size tires and then the wrong size tires in the other one? I'm gonna have to find another tire that size, change it on this one, or find another rim that looks like this, and then buy a tire, put it on, and use that as a spare. Have a full size spare instead of a little one. All right, let that sit for about five, ten minutes. We got it all sprayed down and set for five minutes, and now, now we're scrubbing it. All right? This this teaches you appreciation, son. Yeah. You know, when you spend a lot of money on your tires and wheels, because they're expensive, this is teaches you how to maintain your car and take care of your investment. Because that's exactly what these tires and wheels are—their investment. Fortunately, this car came with tires and wheels, so. You have to take care of the ones that are on there. This one's still good. This one is rough. This is a Lyman issue. Here it is. Maybe because she was drifting too, so. Just flip it around and uh, scrub the inside there. 
while my son finished up those first two wheels, I'm going to try a different. I'm going to try this one on uh, one of the wheels, and then I'm going to try this one because I don't like the way that other degreaser worked. And then the finishing product right here, tire shine, we're going to put on the tires, you know, just to show them how to take care of these tires. How's it coming, son? Well. Look a lot better, though, right? Yeah. It's a lot of work taking care of these wheels, huh? Yep. That's somebody who did not take care of their car, uh, as you can see, because it's not running right. But it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be cleaner than what it was, son. Yeah. It's just this is a learning process for you. He broke my wash bucket, though. I'm going to take that out of your pay, son. Hmm? I'm going to have to take that out of your pay. Damn. I know, you're not a mechanic, right? I'm not a mechanic. I'm a rice, rice farmer. I'm just teaching them about rags and washing on the dirt. Because it's a wheel, it's not too much. But what I was telling them is, when you wash a car, never wash it on dirt. But if you have to wash it on dirt, or you wash it in a car wash that has dirt and sand in it from other dirty cars, if you ever drop your rag on the ground, this old body man trick, leave it on the ground. Never pick it up and put it here and try to wash it off here because you're not going to get all the rocks off. And then when you wash, try to go back and wash your car, the rocks that stay, like these sticks and branches, are going to scratch the heck out of your paint job. So never, ever dip a rag that's fallen on the ground back into the bucket and then wash it, continue wash You will ruin your paint job. Oh, you just sprayed me wet, son. Yes, all right, get that rag and then, like I said, go into the holes there. Stick your fingers in the holes with the rag. And because this is a wheel, it's, you know, I'm not too worried about it, but you got to get behind here and just teach them how to wash wheels, how to change wheels. You know, believe me, it's a learning process. I'm, Ten years from now, you're going to be man, I'm glad my dad taught me how to do this stuff because I'll save you a lot of money. Nobody ever taught me how to wash a car, you know, or how to change a tire or fix a flat or you know how to get grease off so believe me you'll appreciate this in the long run son all right the armor all comes in very different types all right uh, some of them come in a spray some come in a sponge that's soaked with this stuff what we're going to do son we're going to spray just this all the way around and we're going to let it soak for a little bit do both wheels it's easy just to buy your kid a car and throw them the keys and say be careful driving but you have to show them and teach them everything that goes in and everything that is involved with owning a car and that's one of the reasons why I bought this car you know maybe he doesn't like it maybe he did, he's not want to be a mechanic maybe he's not a car guy I don't know are you a car guy son I don't know he doesn't know yet you know I'm not gonna make him be a car guy if he don't want to be one but I'm going to teach him you know what you have to do to take care of a car and including taking care of the tires uh, wh whether he wants to take it and run later on in life that's up to him but at least I'm doing what a father should do for a son teaching the basics you got it yeah all right go ahead I showed him first now he's gonna he's gonna do it always bend at the knees line up one Remember what I said, rest it on the road if you have to, so, you know, put your foot, like I told you, put your foot, support the bottom, line up the lug at the hole, get one in, you got the others in? Alright, there you go, now start one by hand, remember, thread it on easily, if it doesn't go on easy, don't force it on, alright, now get Get this one, put it on the bottom. That way the bottom isn't popping out on you. Now we're going to get this tool. We'll take this off. Do it by hand. Just put it on there by hand. He, my son's complaining about it. his legs are tired. Yeah. Tighten it down as much as you can by hand. And then here, do this one here. You don't have to do it that tight. Just I want to make sure that they're not threaded wrong. Okay. Now do the other two. Alright. Make sure that's... All right, that's off. Now stand in front of it so you're squared off. Come over here. Come over here. Stand in front of it. Now the, the top, this one first, that one, that one, and then that one. All right? Get it nice and square, level. You don't ever want to go there now. Keep going, keep going. Hold on. you got to push it in. you got to hey, push it in. 
always check when somebody hands you a tool, always check and make sure it's right. Alright? Okay, now do it now. Level, down, okay. There, see how much stronger it is now? Yeah. Down. Level. Okay, over here. Level. Alright, son. Yeah. How was that one you did by yourself? Uh, pull pull this out and mm -hmm. push it in. There you go. Then okay. let it go. Alright. Tighten. Alright. Top, bottom, left, right. Alright, we got them all tightened pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is get the jack lined up and we're gonna jack it up, pull out the jack stands, drop the car on the ground, and then we're gonna go back and tighten it with the breaker bar. Alright? Yep. Tired yet? We're only halfway done, son. My legs are just a, t a little tired. <laughs> Mama's cleaning house, we're cleaning the car. Alright, so I sprayed this one with goof off. It's a degreaser. I want to see how this one works. I used a completely different uh, degreaser on the other side. And he's spraying it off with this grease lightning. I think we got that. I think we got all these at Home Depot. Spray all the wheel up here too, the tire sign. My son's doing that. Let's look at this rear suspension on this one. Emergency brake. That other caliper on the other side is not painted. I don't know why they didn't paint this side. This one is not as bad as the others. But uh, let's go look at the front. This one's rough too. Look at the suspension. Looks pretty good. Nothing bent. I don't see nothing bent. She drifted this a lot, so nothing bent. Definitely going to have to uh, get new rotors. I don't know if the calipers are any good. This one's not painted either. And look how nice those wheels look, man. Looks kind of like a Porsche a little bit. I guess that's why I like this car so much. My son's taking a little break. He's like worn out. As I go take a 10 minute break or something like that, we'll, we'll let the degreaser do its job. And uh, he'll appreciate this. He'll look back and be able to say, man, I'm glad my dad taught me this. All right. It looks so much nicer if the wheel's clean. I do love this little car. The more and more I research, the more I learn about these little cars, the more I love them. What are you, the supervisor? Huh? You look like a little weasel. Mama, shave off your goatee. I don't like that. I don't like that, don't Mama. Look like Daddy no more. Don't like that, Mama. This right here, I think, works the best. The the goof off works the first time. Yep, sure does. I don't. I'm not. It's not a product endorsement. I don't get paid by them or anything like that. But that's the best. Then that works. Works like the first one I use is not that good. What is this? Everybody coming out here watching us now? Beautiful. Huh? Cleo. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You said you needed to go to the gym, son, right? This is better than the gym, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's always telling me he wants to work out. Man, the wheels look nice, son. You did a good job. He did all this side by himself. He's finishing up on tightening the lugs. And uh, now he knows what it's like to not only change a tire, but how to take it off, how to put it back on, how to maintain it. You know. What do you think, son? Uh, it's a little, little tiring. A little tiring? <laughs> we stop for a little bit and give him a little uh, snack lunch. So, out of 1 to 10, what do you think you learned today, how hard it was? 1 being 10, I mean 1 being easy, 10 being hard? I'll give it an 8. An 8? Yeah. And you'll never forget this though, right? You know how to do it now? Yeah. Well, you did a good job, son. All four tires and wheels look spotless compared to what they look like. And if you're watching this and you have kids, you got to get out there and you got to teach them, man. Even though they don't want to do it or they may not want to do it, drag them out there and teach them. Because this is going to be a memory that you make with them for a lifetime. I think I'm going to end the video there. So, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. As always, remember to like, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because why, son? Uh, because it's free. It's free, that's right. And like always, be kind to people. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You did a good job, son. We're gone! <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Go!